Now they've left the Radisson across the street pretty undisturbed. They've kind of walled it off. But again, this is very close to where Obama's going to be and they haven't interfered with it much. It's now about 9.45 a.m. I think they opened this up to the public about 9 a.m. The president probably will be here somewhere between 10.30 and 1.30 p.m. Now this gentleman has just sort of wandered through the, uh, the periphery line here. They're not giving him too much grief. That's good. Authorities are guarding this building uh, right across from where uh, Obama will be at sort of the same kind of position that the Radisson is in. Maybe the Radisson is restricting access to the upstairs or something like that, but that would be the area that would be a source of real concern to the Secret Service, I'm sure. Volunteer Center, what are they volunteering for? Some kind of homeland security detail? Now comparing this to the event where he was in Manchester last, uh, I think in September 2011, or to the Colorado Springs Obama appearance that I taped a while back, this one just seems a little more low-key, the security seems a little more laid back, with the exception of that guy who tried to get me to turn the camera off. Hey, you know that the president's going to be here today? Do you want to meet him? Say yes. <laughs> say yes, I want to meet him. Yes? Can you say Obama? No. Obama! <laughs> That's the spot where earlier I was getting grief for taping. <laughs> Have you guys received any grief for taping around here? The authorities giving you any grief no. for taping? Okay. okay, well I'm glad. They've really done a pretty fast job, a relatively fast job of processing the line. It's almost no line now. But something else to mention, there's a ton of tall buildings around this scene where he's going to be. Those were some of the shorter uh, buildings I was showing you earlier. So I guess it provides a lot of uh, opportunity for, for Obama snipers to conceal themselves from public view. But I'm sure they view every building as a possible threat as well. Some, some federal folk have exited the fortress. I think that's Colonel Therian over there, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's Mike Therian. He's kind of camera shy. Let's see if I can get a better picture of him. 